the base delay sets the initial time unit or time value used for the replies. And then we use the grid to subdivide this unit into however many number of steps we want. Right now I have a synth playing a short note at the beginning of each bar. If I put this to one, I'll get a reply a quarter note later. That's one unit. If I go to half, I'll get it an eighth note later. If I go to one and a half, I'll get a dotted quarter note, three eighth notes later. Let's go to one. So we're working with a basic unit of quarter notes. Now right now the grid is not divided at all, so I can position this freely anywhere within that beat by turning snap to grid off over here. I'll generate a couple more replies and I can position them all freely. And I can link them. I can link all three like this. So I can move them all together. Or I can link just selected replies like that. Let's unlink them and set the grid up to divide into two. And now we have a snap to grid button over here and that'll automatically snap the replies. So we have an eighth note subdivision for the quarter note. We see the unit here, one, or one beat. Now, if I put the grid to three, I'll get triplets. So again, I can snap. So I'm dividing the quarter note into three increments. And I can turn the grid off so I can place some of them like that a little bit ahead of the beat so they're earlier. Or behind the beat, I want a little bit of a slower feel. And again, I can link these and preserve the offset between them, but move them both together while maintaining the same offset. Now, if we go to four, we'll get 16th notes, a quarter note divided by four. So let's snap. And we can use the dice to randomize the positions on the grid when this is set to sequence. If I go to five, I'll get quintuplets. Six will give me sextuplets, etc. Let's generate more replies. And I can get a 16th note triplet feel here. Let's go for one more. Let's unlink these. Here it is without the dry signal. And with it. So here's just the last three sixteenth note triplets. And again, we can randomize them. And with snap to grid on, they'll always be on the grid. Or I can turn snap to grid off and randomize them and get positions away from the grid. And of course, if I go to eight, I'll get 30 second notes go for four and snap them to the grid and then we can continue randomizing here I've got a single reply being generated an eighth note after the beat now the feedback loops module generates loops based on an offset that we set with this blue marker. Now I'm working only with loop one right now, and if I offset this by one, we'll see a representation here of everything that's generated from the pattern module and loop module combined. So we see it starting on the third 16th now. 
based on this initial eighth note setting plus the offset here or pre-delay. I delayed another one. It starts another eighth note later on the second beat. And we can change the increments in this grid. And let me snap to the grid here. So now it's starting on a sextuplet division. Let's go down to four. I'll snap it to the grid again. And we can again take snap to grid off and place this slightly ahead or behind if we want. But I'll put it on and snap it to the grid. So now it's being offset and starting on the second beat. And we set the length of the feedback loop with the end over here. So I'm gonna set it short for now. And as I dial up the level, we'll see what's gonna be generated in the output graph here. And because it's a short loop, it's repeating every 16th note. If I lengthen this, they're repeating every eighth note now. And here it'll be every three eighth notes. And the more level I drive in, the more repeats are gonna be generated. Now, once they're off the screen, we can multiply the timeline display with this to view a greater amount. I'll go up to eight times so we can see now the additional replies that are generated with the increased level. And we can control the contrast of the display with this knob here. I'm gonna go back down to four. And if I set a longer time, each subsequent reply generated from the feedback loop is increased. And here's an interesting time to turn off the snap to grid if we wanna get an irregular series of replies generated from the feedback loop. Very nice kind of lazy sloppy behind the beat feel. Or maybe you want a whole bunch very close together. Now let's turn on the second feedback loop. And this is set for a nice slow repeat of a quarter note. So as I dial this up, we'll hear an additional repeat generated every quarter note. Plus the initial eighth note offset, of course. And the stereo crosstalk will blend the left and right channels together and above 50%, it'll invert them. I can invert the phase. Or I can dial in some crosstalk from this channel. And cross feedback is the parameter that sets the amount of signals sent from the other loop into the current feedback loop. So this is being repeated at the intervals based on this second feedback loop. And we can combine that with crosstalk. So that's the grid in Blue Cat Audio's late replies. Mm -hmm.